Let's not put it all on our genetics or our parents or our history. Let's let's cut the crap. Let's cut it. I also Good morning everyone my name is Jasma and welcome back to my channel I'm so excited the weather the warm weather is give, giving great vibes so uh, today is day four of 15 days of fitness and today we're discussing some of the things that the fitness industry seems to for some reason leave out that I find to be actually very very important and we're just gonna go over a few of those all right so first up our unilateral exercises these are basically things that are done with one side at a time. Say for instance, you're doing dumbbell chest press. You're gonna just do that one single side and then switch and do the other side. So you're doing one side at a time as opposed to bilateral when you're working both sides at the same time. This is important because it does stress certain muscles that wouldn't get stressed as much if you were doing bilateral work. This also is important because it's gonna require your body to stabilize the muscles a lot more than normal. So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. You may not feel it in the moment, but it's challenging muscles that normally aren't as challenged. Nine times out of 10 is definitely gonna stress your core more too. Make sure you're implementing unilateral exercises. They are absolutely important. They don't have to be done through every single workout, every single exercise in that workout, but put them in here and there to stretch your muscles in a different way. While we're on the subject of movements, let's talk about lateral work. So basically most of our exercises are done in a position where we're gonna either move forward or move backwards. For example, a back squat, you literally, st you don't move side to side, you literally kind of move back, your, your behind goes back behind you. We also need to make sure that we're implementing lateral works, such as lateral lunges, lateral step ups, lateral bounds, movements that are gonna require you to move left and right and not just forward and backwards. Because when you think about it, on a daily basis, we don't just move forward and backwards. Like don't we sometimes step to the side or move in certain ways that don't require us to just go forward and backwards. So that's the same way you wanna, when you wanna work out and you want to train, which is in all different planes, not just forward and backwards. So make sure that you're also incorporating lateral work as well. Next up, make sure that you are following a program, guys. Like I get that it's cool to pick up new exercises and movements that you might see on social media, but it is so, so important that you actually are following a program, whether you build it yourself, whether you purchase it from someone or whether you hire a trainer. A program is like, it's what you need. Like it, it will yield results that you cannot believe compared to just doing random workouts or random exercises. Get a program, get a plan and stick with it long enough to see if it works. Two, three weeks is not long enough. You may have to alter certain things here and there, but try to stick between six to 12 weeks for a program and you, I can almost guarantee you, you'll see results as long as you're doing your part and you're also eating well. You know I couldn't make this video and not talk about nutrition. So nutrition is literally 80% of the battle. And I think it's the thing that most of us struggle most with. I know I do myself. Like nutrition is just like, because who don't want a good burger or a slice of pizza or something every once in a while? And I live by the mentality that you should have things in moderation that you want. I'm not gonna just forever restrict myself from things that I enjoy. However, you cannot outwork a bad diet. Like unless your metabolism, especially at this, at this big age, if your metabolism is still going like this, like kudos to you, but for most of us, we cannot outwork a bad diet. So if you're training hard, you're being consistent, but you're not still seeing the results that you want, Take a deep look at your uh, eating habits and see if there's something in there that needs to be corrected. I also feel like there is a huge misconception between resistance training and cardio, like which one is better. I might even do a whole entire video on this, but literally they go hand in hand, like they're both so, so important. I would probably say that resistance training is it's a little bit higher of a priority, but it also depends on what your goals are. I made the same mistake, and I think this is why I wanted to make sure that the information gets out there. When I first started working out, I thought I only needed cardio, and then I, I waited till I got down to a certain size, and then I started lifting. No, no, for most of us, we can go ahead and begin lifting right away. I mean, given the little nuances like doctor clearance and things like that, but resistance training like is, Everyone really needs to be lifting. If you can lift, you need to be lifting. I'm not saying you need to be a bodybuilder, but you need to be lifting. Resistance training and cardio play a huge 
part and they stress different things within our body. So one of course is gonna work the respiratory system more, one is gonna work the mus muscle skeleton system more. Both are equally, I don't wanna say equally, but both are very, very important. So I think have a balance, a healthy balance of both in your training. Footwear, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because I'm seeing it more and more, especially in the, on TikTok and the TikTok community, footwear guys like i know i know i know i know i know you're tired of hearing about footwear but like it is so so important <laughs> i can't even stress how important it is so if you're running if you're jumping this is when you're going to have more of your cushiony shoes to help absorb some of the impact from your landing and things like that however resistance training i feel so bad when i see people still lifting in like running shoes or something of that sort barefoot is literally like the most recommended way to lift like your foot isn't restricted at all you can really be grounded to the ground when you're doing your lifts if for whatever reason you don't feel comfortable barefoot uh lifting barefoot which i get like especially if i'm in a commercial gym i'm, I'm just not or i'm not going to lift in socks in a commercial gym like i'm just i'm just not then there are other alternatives such as metcons um if you can get a wide pair of converses most of them are narrow at the top so it squeezes your toes and don't allow you to get the full um, the full stance, the full platform that you need to really secure your feet down to the ground when you're lifting. So if you can get a wide pair of Converse's or a wide pair of Vans that allow your toes to naturally spread out how they're supposed to, then I recommend doing that as well. But lifting in running shoes or cushion, very cushiony shoes is not the go-to. It, it leaves too much room for your foot to kind of move all over the place and sink in and that can result in injury it can result in bad lifts it's it's can be very detrimental so yes footwear is actually so so important so important guys next up i think there is a huge misconception just in general you know you grow up saying like oh like this runs in my family or this disease runs in my family this runs in my family while genetics do play a small portion of how our body responds to exercise or responds to foods or responds to certain things it does is not the end all be all the rest is up to us like the things that we eat on a daily basis our lack of physical activity or how much we work out or what activities we do do a lot of it is still in our control i know there are some things that just really are genetics or passed down but that's not everything like <laughs> i'm tired of the excuses like no, it, ha it comes down to what you're eating a lot of the times, it, how you're taking care of your body, your rest, different things like that. So let's not put it all on our genetics or our parents or our history. Let's let's cut the crap. Let's cut it. And then lastly, um, there is a like hypertrophy range of typically like six to 12 reps um, over like three, four, five sets. It's supposed to like help you gain muscle, right? But what I noticed is a lot of people aren't training to failure and when i say training to failure i don't mean like literally like every single set you're like about to pass out training to failure with good form which means your very last rep you did with great form but you knew you couldn't you didn't have any more in you like you really stressed yourself between that six to twelve rep range uh you you maybe had one or two reps left if it's like a super heavy 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 lift but you knew like if you went for those reps, your form would not be good, then that's training to failure with good form. Don't just train to failure, but your form looks like crap and you're about to fall all over the place and your knees are caving in, your elbows are caving in. That's not training to failure, that's doing yourself a disservice. So really push yourself, don't just do, okay, I'm gonna do four sets of eight today, all using 10 pounds, but you could have literally did 35 pounds it, it is not going to yield the same results so make sure you pay attention to really stressing your muscles but to a point that you're not going to injure yourself all right that's pretty much it uh these are the things that i found to be extremely important but i feel like are being left out or i see a lot of a lot of it being done or not done on my timelines and i just want to be able to push out as much content as i can on things that i know that i wish i had saw when i was first starting my journey so hopefully this has been beneficial please do not forget to like comment and subscribe i will be back with day five of 15 days of fitness very soon i hope you have an amazing day and take Take care.